Happy Wednesday, nail crew. It is your Yogi Wednesday. My nail art look is inspired by these sneakers. I saw them in a the mall, took a picture. I'm a creep like that. It's all good. <laughs> I'm also going to make some bling gel using your Yogi products. So if you want to see how I keep my stones on forever and ever, keep watching. Nail crew, oh my gosh, my nail sisters have the best giveaways. One of my nail sisters from Instagram is giving away a ring light and a tripod set. Are you kidding me? Like this entire thing you see on the screen could be yours. I will leave all her information below in the description box. Check her out. Good luck to everybody. All right, so back to your Yogi Wednesday. Let's jump back on into the video. I'm using my Yogi brush set and this Yogi Builder Gel to, you know, get this look here, get this look here. Other things that I'm going to be using is some cheap yellow polish and some cheap pink polish. Any dollar store polish will work, guys. Like, do not go all out. And then I'm also going to use some jelly polish from McCart. You'll see that a little bit later. I'll pull that out for you. So what I did was just opened up up the caps and just loosen them up a little bit that way it's easy for me to get to and I'm just brushing on this yellow polish guys like this doesn't take any special skill at all and when I add the pink I want it to overlap slightly so it gives me a little bit of a gradient in the middle so pretty much that is it super easy like hello kindergartners could do this <laughs> so if you are afraid to try some nail art guys don't be this is so simple and then so I have my yogi brush and literally I'm just dragging it across like look how easy that is oh my goodness and it's giving you a swirl effect I really like it I think it's cute and now don't forget you have to wipe your brush off after every time you use it if you don't the polish will dry in the brush and when you go to use it again it'll give you larger lines like it won't be that nice sleek kind of fade that you want it will be kind of ugly and big I don't know it won't look good it won't look good okay so just wipe off the excess polish before it dries and pretty much that is it now I kind of like this pinky better I like how that pinky turned out because there's a lot more of the pink down in the yellow as opposed to the first finger I did yeah I'm not really digging the first one so I'm gonna try nope see I can't do that it's already dry darn it okay so I went ahead and wiped it off and we're just gonna start fresh let's start anew I'll probably edit that part out so you guys think I did perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I got it on my first try. Duh. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> I'll probably edit all that out. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm just kidding, guys. You know, I don't care about making a fool of myself at this point. This is a judgment-free zone, so it's all good. Back to the drawing board. So I did the yellow, and then I did the pink. Same exact way that I did before. But this time I'm going to drag it and make some of the pink get down into the bottom where the yellow is. So just watch how I do that. I'm just making sure that the brushes are frayed out enough that I don't get big clumpy lines. So pretty much bringing the lines and the brush up and then going back down with some of that pink on the brush down into the yellow. So it's, uh, it's still not as much pink as I want down at the bottom. Mm, okay that's a little better okay that's a little better I'm happy again yeah okay I'm happy so yeah so I like how this looks I like that boom yes I'm happy oh yeah oh yeah I think that's pretty I think that is so pretty yes them shoes ain't got nothing on these nails I feel like I need to go back and buy those shoes now just so I can take a picture with them. <laughs> All right, so now for the jelly part, I am using this McCart Jelly Polish Kit. I did a whole video and review on this entire kit. I will link that below so you guys can see all the pretty colors, guys. This polish is thick. A lot of the polishes in this kit are one coat coverage okay so this pink that i'm using definitely one coat coverage if i did more than one coat it won't be as jelly as i want it to be and i definitely want that jelly type of look so i think it's so cute guys so cute i love it 
oh my gosh it's just really bringing the look together and i'm super happy so far so simple so simple all right so let's go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds do, do, do. And now for the fun part. Now for the fun part. So I have my Yayogi Builder Gel and my Yayogi Gel Brush, okay? Because it's Yayogi Wednesday. And then the top coat that I'm going to use is from this Enel Couture. Now let me tell y'all something. Y'all know I love me some Yayogi, but I like the Enel Couture top coat better, okay? It's okay. I could say that, okay? It's I. Right. All right, so the first thing you want to do when making this bling gel is put the hard gel only on the area that you want your stones to be. So you're not gonna brush this hard gel on your entire nail, okay? Just put it where you want the stones to be and then you're going to take the top coat and then you're gonna brush the top coat over the entire nail, okay? So the hard gel just goes where you want the stones to be but the top coat goes over the entire nail. Now you can do it any way you want, but this is the way I do it, okay? Now the purpose of the hard gel is that it's really thick and the stones will sink right down in the center of the gel and the gel will surround the stones and those stones are going nowhere. The purpose of adding the top coat over the hard gel is that it's going to give it a glossy finish and it's going to stop it from being sticky. Remember when you cure that hard gel it is sticky and the stones will be sticky you'll have lint on there it's just not going to be good it's going to be annoying but by adding the top coat on top of it before you cure it it allows it to stay shiny and there's a nice slick finish it's not sticky and it just looks better overall so once I was done with the middle finger, I went ahead and flash cured that nail for 10 seconds, okay? And then now I'm moving on to my ring finger. So if you notice, I added more of the hard gel because I'm doing more stones. So I covered the entire nail with the hard gel, covered the entire nail with the top coat, and now I'm just nestling those stones right down deep into the gel. Like, it is surrounding these stones with gel and I'm telling you, this these stones are not going anywhere. And I warned you guys, I warned you, if you do your nails like this and you hold your stones on the way I'm showing you, don't be mad at me when it comes time to take them off and they don't want to go anywhere. Like, <laughs> don't be mad at me because I'm telling you, it is going to be a nightmare. I'm warning you right now. <laughs> All right, so after all the stones were in place, I went ahead and cured my hand for a full 60 seconds, and now I'm adding top coat. You wanna add the top coat around the stones. However, the ring finger just has too much going on, and I just ended up throwing top coat over the whole thing. There are certain stones that when you add top coat to it, it dulls the shine, and it doesn't catch the light well, but I don't really notice that big of a difference, especially with the stones that I'm using now. I have not noticed that big of a difference. So it is what it is. When you do your own nails, you don't have to go on top. If you wanna be patient and go in between each rhinestone or diamond, that would be better for you. But <laughs> your girl over here kinda lazy, so <laughs> I'm taking a shortcut. All right, now let me point out the downside from using all this hard gel, guys, is that everything will be sticky. Everything, everything. So I just take my alcohol spray bottle and I literally just spray everything down and then I take a paper towel and pat it dry. So that's it. That takes away most of the stickiness and then my life is good again because when everything is sticky and I got hairs and stuff, just, oh, oh, it just makes me crazy. So yeah, just spray everything down with some alcohol and you will be good to go. Good as new. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Even this little polish bottle was a little sticky. <laughs> I don't know how I got so sticky on everything. <laughs> oh my gosh but okay the alcohol is is better it's better all right <laughs> so all right guys so now that that is done you know i gotta add my finishing oil you know i gotta add my finishing oil y'all oh my god i hope y'all support me when i finally launch this i'm just working on the scent but once i get that scent down guys and i finally launch this i hope y'all support me and buy it and use it every single night on your cuticles okay because it feels really good and i love it i love it <laughs> aside from adding top coat and having everything shine adding cuticle oil is the next best thing 
I know it. I know that's what y'all feel too. I know that's what y'all saying right now. And this is what the nails look like. Woo, yeah. Some cheap polish. <laughs> Some cheap polish, but you still looking like a million bucks, baby. And that is it for my Yayogi Wednesday, guys. And again, I'm telling you, don't be mad at me if you try this method to hold your bling on and then two, three weeks later when you go to get a fill, you can't take them off. Like, don't be mad. You have been warned. You've been warned, nail crew. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Love you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.